The Art Project. This is your review for two. Good day. My name is Joe. Today we'll be going over the Art Project and how it plays with two players. Now the Art Project is a cooperative one to six player game where you will be taking the role of stealing art back from thieves, from people who have already stolen the art. So your goal in the game is to steal back the seven pieces of art around these various different boards, these different countries, all while trying to defeat the hand, keep your health in check, and make sure you have enough resources to do so. So let's see a little bit more how to play. So in the art project, everybody's gonna start with their own little character, their own color, that they're gonna have their own personal dice and a kind of a few health. They also start off with some of these resources. They may be some gas cans to move, some guns to do a little bit extra damage when you need to fight the hand, and some walkie-talkies to maybe ally, or, uh, call up some allies and get some help. So on your turn, everybody's gonna get uh, two cards. You're gonna play one of them and um, kind of do this in any order that you want to. You can't tell anybody exactly what's on your card, but you can show them what's on the back and maybe what you'll be uh, doing throughout the turn. Uh, the card flow is very easy. You pay something, you put out some hand tokens, uh, you may get some resources, and uh, you kind of start your set collection at the bottom. Um, and then you'll go through those turns until um, everybody has played their card. Check to see if there's a, a triple that's been played. If there's three of the same symbol, you're going to discard those cards, put a stolen art. So you've, you've gone through your mission. You're going to place an art uh, on the board. And now you need to go to that location, clear out any hand, pick up the art, and keep on moving. So you'll go through the movement phase where you'll be spending uh, gas cans, and then you're gonna fight. If you or um, anybody else on the team are at a spot with a hand, you can choose to fight. You roll your dice and any ally dice you may pick up along the way. If there are multiple people there, you'll be able to pick up and roll their dice as well. So a job, if you, if you defeat a certain number and it gets progressively harder uh, as you pick up more art because they're, they're kind of on to you, discovering you, so it'll get a little bit harder. You'll need to roll higher dice. There's different ways to re-roll, guns adding to that. And uh, that's kind of the flow of the game. Then you'll do the exact same at the, it, you know, the start of the next round. So it'll be uh, do your mission card, get two cards, uh, play one, pay what's at the top, uh, add agents or add the hand tokens to one of the spaces on the board that it says get some tokens and then finally start the set collection so you can start putting the art pieces out there. So let's talk about the rules and references. The rules in this game, fairly straightforward. I basically explained the game, but the rule book does a decent job of telling you exactly uh, how to play. Uh, the references, this is really what you need. It's a one page reference sheet that has everything on there and it really does a good job of the flow. Uh, very easy to probably get back to the table. Uh, the components themselves are fine. Actually, the neatest components probably these art little crates. Uh, the rest are, you know, just wooden cubes, little cubes around the board. So the components are fine for what they are. Let's talk about setup and table size. Setup, this really isn't gonna take you much space. Three by three is plenty for this game. Uh, we are a little bit more spread out, but you really don't need to be. Um, you just need to make sure everybody can see the board and you know the board's small enough, the van where you keep your supplies is small enough. Three by three is plenty for this one and setup is easy to get to the table. It's really uh, shuffle the cards, put two hands on most of the spots. Uh, well, decide what uh, mission you're playing first. It comes with, I believe, uh, six different missions that you can play. And, and set up that scenario specific, read a couple rules, shuffle the cards, and you're ready to play. So now let's talk about the gameplay. So the gameplay in this game is actually pretty interesting. The better actions, you know, they're gonna cost you something at the start. It's gonna usually add more hand tokens to, uh, to the regions. And if there's ever five, it becomes a lost region. You can't go to it anymore. Hands start to be uh, added to this overall pool, make it more difficult to defeat the hand. So it really is a nice play on, you know, oh, I can load these up to four, but once they're four, it's gonna be, uh, we can't add any more to there. I can't play some of those cards. We need to go clear the hand out. And it really is, you know, looking at the number up here, adding the number of hand tokens and trying to beat that on a dice roll. So 
you're trying to add some allies. Allies get you more dice to roll throughout the game and spending walkie talkies, but it's big resource management. You need to move with the gas cans. You have to be able to use a gas can to move. Um, the guns, they give you a little bit extra firepower when you're trying to uh, roll the dice to defeat the hand. You can discard a card, you know, to re-roll too. So there is luck mitigation built in. And of course you want the walkie talkies to get the allies, to get more dice to roll. Uh, but it's very hard to get allies at the beginning of the game, easier uh, during the later parts of the game. And it really is kind of a, uh, you know, a tight resource game. Uh, the one caveat is also, you can use your health on your character sheet to in lieu of a resource that you don't have on the van. Now you, you wanna be careful because if you run out of health, the whole group loses the game. So it really is a resource management. Can I play this card that gets us a couple extra resources, but I'll add a couple extra hands, but I don't wanna add it to certain spots, uh, but we have, oh, we need to be able to move. I only have two health left. I could spend my last one if we don't have any gas cans during the movement phase. There's a lot of, little decisions in this game. And that's what I do uh, really like about uh, this game is, you know, the, the decisions may not be super weighty and heavy and really thinking about it, but there are a lot of micro decisions in this game. You got some cards that you play that, you know, they may not add any hand tokens to the board, but it may be a one-to-one -one replacement on, you know, resources. Do you need that one resource or not? You know, for the set collection, what sets do we need? So there's so much uh, to think about in this game, even though it may be on the lighter side. So is this game good for two? And this game is decent for two. It is back and forth. It's nice and quick for two. Um, I think the last couple of games we ended with a couple extra turns to spare uh, with two, but we didn't quite have that tension of and resource uh, really ups and downs you'll get with more players. Uh, we have not played this game with more than two, but I can see this being really interesting. It's a 30 to 40 minute uh, time commitment that you're gonna be playing, but it really doesn't take up that much time. This would be a great filler game as a cooperative game to get to the table with, you know, a group of four, even six. It's really hard to find a game that goes from one all the way to six and plays about the same. Um, and it plays well at the low play counts. It's not the meatiest game in the world. It's not the game that I'm gonna be going to bed thinking about what could I have done? What what could you know we have done better? But it's a nice, just fun game. You're you're moving around the map, you're playing cards, everyone has an equal, you know, say in, in what we do. Everybody's gonna be rolling dice, everybody's gonna be talking with each other, saying, Oh, we should do this, we can do this. And this is a great, you know, really niche uh, game that fills that 30 to 40 minute gameplay. But for two, I wouldn't specifically buy this game for two, but it is gonna stay in our collection because of the, you know, uh, the, the filler aspect of this game and the variable player count that it can bring. So uh, we really had a good time uh, with this game. Is it a must buy? Probably not, but is it, is it a smaller game that can be played in that shorter time frame? Yes, and we have really enjoyed our time with the art project. So uh, that's the review on the art project and until next time.